The movie commences with a boy named Enzo who is playing inside a house. As he is busy playing, his aunt Lady Carlo comes and scolds him. She tells him to stay quiet as his mother is sleeping but Enzo straight up tells her not to lie as he knows that his mother is dead. Lady Carlo, after hearing this, gets shocked but decides to stay quiet and leaves. Next, we are shown Enzo's elder brothers namely Nuccio and Nino. Nuccio is around 18 years old, and he does not seem too concerned about the death of his mother. Meanwhile, Nino who is 14 years old, just pretends to be sad. Then, we see Ignacio who is the father of these kids, and it is revealed that everyone has gathered for the funeral of Margarita, the beloved wife of Ignacio. Ignacio is a prosperous merchant hailing from the Italian city of Sicily. Then, we see a young woman named Angela who greets Ignacio and pays her respects to Margarita. After the funeral, we see Enzo staring at Lady Carlos back in an erotic way. When Nino sees this, he also begins staring at her in a strange way. On their way back, Lady Carlo is sitting close to Nino in the car, so he begins looking at her legs. Then, he makes a move and places his hand near her skirt. Surprisingly, Lady Carlo does not get mad at him and allows him to touch her, and it seems like she is enjoying it. When they get home, they are greeted by Angela who informs Ignacio that they had applied for a maid a couple of days ago and she is going to be their maid from now on. This enchanting housekeeper possesses striking beauty and excels in her role, tending not only to the household but also to Ignacio and his three sons. As the narrative unfolds, Nino and Nuccio, the sons of Ignacio, become increasingly attuned to Angela's presence. Eager to forge a closer connection with her, they seize every opportunity to interact with Angela. One day, Nuccio, the eldest son, attempts to take their relationship to a more intimate level. However, Angela reacts with fury and slaps him which promptly drives him away. Meanwhile, Nino harbors romantic dreams about Angela, confiding in his close friend Luciano about his burgeoning feelings. In school, Nino goes out to bring a glass of water for his teacher but after that, he puts his private part inside the glass and gives the glass to his teacher, who is completely unaware of it. When the teacher drinks water, Nino tells the class what he did, and they begin laughing. Back at home, while everyone is watching TV, Nino begins staring at Angela's skirt in an erotic way which makes her very uncomfortable. Displaying his affection, Nino places roses on Angela's dress on multiple occasions. One day, while Nino is at the beach playing with his friends, he accidentally falls. Due to this, a piece of broken glass hits his private parts, and he gets badly injured. Now, a twist in the tale occurs prompting Angela to assist by applying ointment to his wound. This act of care deepens Nino's emotions further. After this, Nino and Luciano share personal details, and Nino tells him about how Angela is helping apply ointment to his private area. Luciano gets very happy to hear this and tells Nino to play more tricks to get close to Angela. At first, Nino gets happy but then he asks Luciano about his interest in Angela and Luciano reveals that he also desires to get close to Angela. This makes Nino mad, and he straight up tells Luciano to back off. However, Luciano makes a deal with him according to which he will show Nino the private parts of his stepsister, and in return, Nino will show him Angela's private parts. The next day, when Angela attends to Nino's younger brother in their shared room, Nino's desire to see Angela unclothed intensifies. The following day, while Angela is cleaning the room's windows, Ignacio and Nuccio inadvertently glimpse her body, awakening their dormant senses. Upon noticing this, Angela gets mad at Nuccio. Seeing this, Ignacio also gets mad at Nuccio and asks him to behave. As Nino's yearning for Angela grows, Ignacio finds himself contemplating the idea of marrying Angela. Therefore, in an attempt to win Angela's favor, Ignacio goes to great lengths to impress her. However, Angela remains indifferent to his efforts. One day, Angela discovers Nino wearing her dress adorned with a rose, revealing his feelings for her. Angela's response is marked by a smile, suggesting a subtle acknowledgement of Nino's emotions. However, the situation takes a complicated turn when Nuccio, unable to control his desires, attempts to engage in sexual relations with Angela. Angela firmly rejects his advances, refusing to give in to his wishes. Upon witnessing the conflict, Nino rushes to the scene to protect Angela. Despite her warnings against quarreling, the brothers continue their dispute, prompting Angela to leave. After this, Nuccio, undeterred, informs Nino of his intentions to be intimate with Angela later that evening. Meanwhile, Ignacio, who is unaware of the tumultuous events, prepares to express his affection for Angela by visiting her room. When Nino discovers Ignacio's plans, he reacts impulsively, breaking the glass of Ignacio's store with stones, triggering an alarm that startles everyone. Due to this, Ignacio's attempts to be with Angela are thwarted, and he begins running towards the store as the police arrive, although nothing is stolen. In the midst of the chaos, Ignacio becomes convinced that Margarita's ghost is haunting the house, linking her disapproval to the broken glass. Undeterred, Ignacio plans to express his feelings to Angela once more. Seizing an opportunity, he sends Nino to Lady Carlo's residence under false pretenses, exploiting Carlo's infatuation with him. Lady Carlo tries to seduce Nino at her house, however, Nino, uninterested in Carlo, resists her advances. This is when Nino realizes that he is in love with Angela. Upon returning home, Nino discovers that Angela's father is proposing marriage, and Angela, too, contemplates this proposition. 
Nino's spirits plummet upon learning of Angela's impending marriage. The next day, Ignacio gathers everyone to visit his mother and announces his decision to marry Angela. However, Ignacio's mother vehemently opposes this union, fearing it would bring disgrace to the family as Angela is a common maid. Despite his mother's objections, Ignacio remains resolute, refusing to heed her advice. He explains to his mother that Angela is perfect for him as she takes care of Enzo in his home. So, after much persuasion, Ignacio's mother agrees to the marriage. Now, in a desperate attempt to thwart the marriage, Nino devises a cunning plan. He persuades Enzo to feign distress, claiming to have seen the ghost of their deceased mother, Margarita, during the night. The younger brother falls for the ruse and begins sobbing loudly. When Enzo cries at night, Angela and Ignacio rush to comfort him and are startled by his revelation. In his distress, Enzo expresses a wish for their mother to hear his cries, intensifying Ignacio's inner turmoil. The subsequent day sees the family returning home, and Nino, steadfast in his mission to thwart the impending marriage, resorts to employing a variety of excuses to consistently approach and make contact with Angela. In a bold move, Nino requests that Angela hold his hand, pushing the boundaries of their interactions. Angela, incensed by his advances, responds with frustration, accusing Nino of feigning innocence. She points out his awareness of specific items in his room, alluding to clandestine nocturnal activities and adding a layer of tension to their exchanges. However, this does not stop Nino and he comes up with another plan to stop the marriage. Once again, he feigns witnessing the ghost of his deceased mother, punctuating the act with a loud scream. Gripped by fear of supernatural forces, Ignacio, now deeply troubled, urgently summons a priest to the house. Following a thorough investigation, the priest solemnly declares that the spirit of Ignacio's late wife still lingers within the home, vehemently advising against Ignacio's marriage to Angela. In the midst of a tense dinner, Enzo, the youngest son, endeavors to touch Angela discreetly from beneath the table. However, Angela adeptly foils his attempts, introducing an additional layer of complexity to the already tumultuous situation. Meanwhile, Nino's growing affection for Angela reaches new heights as he initiates secret nocturnal visits to her bedroom. Despite Angela's tearful protests upon discovering him in her room, Nino persists in returning, seemingly undeterred by her visible distress. Intriguingly, Angela chooses to bear this emotional turmoil in silence, opting not to disclose Nino's actions to Ignacio, thereby deepening the clandestine nature of their interactions. On the subsequent day, as Angela embarks on the challenging task of cleaning Nino's room, he intensifies the disorder, persisting in his pattern of vexatious behavior. Frustrated by the ongoing disruption, Angela decides to take matters into her own hands. In a daring move, she proposes a provocative deal, offering to undress for Nino's viewing pleasure in exchange for his commitment to cease troubling her with his disruptive antics. Nino, maintaining an enigmatic silence on the matter, leaves the atmosphere charged with unspoken tension, heightening the complexity of their relationship. Undeterred by Nino's continued silence, he eventually takes a bold step and explicitly requests that Angela undress for him. Simultaneously, Luciano pays Nino a visit, fulfilling a promise to share private pictures of his stepsister. In return, Nino is obligated to uphold his end of the bargain. Subsequently, he invites Luciano to his home, and together, they clandestinely observe Angela through a window in her room. As Angela becomes aware of their voyeuristic actions, she decides to play along and begins undressing herself. However, the unexpected arousal of Luciano takes Nino by surprise and incites his anger. In response, Nino dismisses Luciano, abruptly ending their shared voyeuristic endeavor. This unexpected turn of events adds a layer of complexity and tension to the narrative, as emotions and relationships within the storyline take an unpredictable and charged direction. Later, Angela finds Nino in her room, and he asks her why she did that when she knew Luciano was watching her. Angela remains quiet at this and leaves the room. After this, Nino stops annoying Angela and does not play any more ghostly tricks on his father. This makes Ignacio believe that Margarita's ghost has departed, and he starts making plans to marry Angela. Despite Nino's persistent opposition to their union, he remains resolute in his quest to sow discord between Ignacio and Angela, yet his endeavors prove futile. A stroke of luck presents itself on a stormy night when both Nuccio and Ignacio are absent from home. Ignacio is away on a business trip, and Nuccio is spending time with friends, creating an opportune moment for Nino to act on his desires. Seizing the chance, Nino dines with Angela and Enzo when suddenly, the power cuts, intensifying Nino's excitement. This unforeseen event becomes the catalyst for Nino's plan. In the enveloping darkness of the storm-induced power outage, Angela, who grapples with a fear of the dark, shrewdly exploits this vulnerability to her advantage. Upon Angela's return to her room, she discovers Nino already present, mischief evident as he playfully teases her with a flashlight. This seemingly innocent exchange takes a dark turn when Nino, in a twisted maneuver, coerces Angela to undress in the obscurity of the room. As Angela reluctantly disrobes, Nino, now granted a glimpse of her naked body, capitalizes on their shared fear of the dark, utilizing it as a manipulative force to bring them emotionally closer. This calculated exploitation of vulnerability ultimately reaches its climax, leading to an intimate encounter between the two characters. 
The atmosphere, charged with tension and the consequences of their actions, underscores the intricate dynamics at play in this complex narrative. The storyline transitions to a later period, depicting Ignacio and Angela immersed in discussions in the days following their wedding. Assuming a maternal role, Angela guides Ignacio on how to embrace his three sons as if they were his own. In a familial interlude, Angela shares affectionate kisses with Ignacio's other two sons. However, a moment of hesitation arises when it comes to Nino, he opts to kiss Angela on the cheek himself. This subtle and telling gesture hints at an ongoing affair between Nino and Angela, injecting the narrative with an air of clandestine secrecy and intricate complexity. The audience is left with a palpable sense of unresolved mystery and nuanced relationships, adding depth to the unfolding drama. This is where the movie ends. If you liked our video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.